Hello and welcome to the Fat Runner channel. My name is Colin. Two years ago, I was a couch potato and I looked like this. Now, I run 5Ks, 10Ks, half marathons, marathons, and I look like this. So today's video is an update on the training for my latest race, which is Colchester Half Marathon and is in only 10 days. Right, good morning everyone. It's Thursday today, and in a, a change to the proceedings, I'm doing my long run. Those of you who watch will know that normally I do my long run on a Friday, but uh, this week is a bit different. So the reason for the change this week is mainly to do with the training plan itself. So we're in week 11 of the 12 week training plan. I've started the taper, so the volume is going down, but actually this week, I've got two high intensity sessions, which is unusual. And I really want to have a break this weekend. I don't want to run this weekend. So I'm going to cram all the sessions in um, Monday to Friday. And uh, Monday I was, I quite often do a high intensity session on a Monday, but this Monday my legs are still quite tired from my last week's training. So I did four miles easy on Monday. Uh, interval session on Tuesday which was about five miles Wednesday I had a rest day today is eight miles easy long run and then tomorrow is a five mile progression run which if I remember correctly off the top of my head is two miles easy one mile race pace one mile interval pace and then one mile easy so today's it is eight miles but it's only an easy effort so as I said in the intro we've only got ten days to go now um, today my legs are feeling tired um, previously I would panic about that and think oh I've started the taper but I'm still tired but I know now it's quite normal and it's really only going to be about this time next week I'm going to start to feel like I've recovered and I've rested a bit so it's fine just need to keep ticking along push through it today because my calves are feeling quite tight again today I keep meaning to foam roll but you know what it's like just forget about it don't you? <laughs> once you stop running see they don't hurt and they're not uncomfortable when I'm not running so as soon as I stop it's early in the morning today it's just gone six o'clock I'm four and a half miles in already I was up at five today the reason for that is I've got a first aid course with work today and tomorrow and it's an early start so I've got to get the train into Chelmsford and then walk about a mile to the course. That's right. I've got to walk to the train station as well. So <laughs> there's actually quite a lot of walking the next two days, which is not great considering I'm supposed to be tapering, but at least it's in the second week of the taper and it is only walking. Because I don't actually tend to do that much walking these days. Tends to be running. Or nothing. <laughs> Not really much else to report to be honest. Fairly uneventful week. Like I said, now it's just a case of bringing the mileage down. And then next week there'll only be a couple of runs. And it's race day. So the route today I've just did basically just ran from my house four miles, turn around and I'm on the way back now. I didn't really plan the route, I just went as the wind took me as it were. Oh, in terms of fueling and that today, so it's only eight miles, so I've not bothered to fuel um, with any nutrition, even though I am running first thing in the morning. I should be fine. I have got a small 250 mil soft flask um, with just with water in, in case I need a drink. Again, okay. I should be all right, but always like to be careful, just in case. You never know. Um, it's not overly hot today, but I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Which is kind of my mantra to life, really, in a lot of ways. Yep, chugging along 10.40 pace. Nice and slow. And it's a lovely day. Check out the sunshine. Little field there. Yeah, loving life. Just set me up for the day. Anyway. I'm gonna go guys so probably check in with you tomorrow and then 
yeah, that'll be it for the week. A very good morning to you. It's Friday, favourite day of the week. And my progression run today, two miles easy, one race pace, one interval pace, and then uh, one easy to finish off with. So, on the first of my easy miles, as usual, I won't be filming the faster miles because I struggled to do that. Plus, I didn't bring my selfie stick thingy today because it keeps falling out of my flip belt. Annoying, getting real now. Nine days to go to a race day. Right, anyway, arms getting tired, so put this away. Now, check back in once I'm done. Right, that's the run done. Ooh, that rhymed. Let's see how we got on there. So the first two miles were well with an easy pace around 10.40, which is all good, what I'd expect by now. Um, race pace mile was 8.40, so the range I was looking for was between 8.35 and 8.55, so that was well at the faster end. And then for the interval pace I was looking between 8 and 8.15 and it was 8.07, so pretty much slap bang right in the middle. And then the last easy mile was fine. I, um, I had to stop for about 30 seconds just to walk after that interval pace because I was shattered. But then after that, I had a similar problem I had the other day where I then started going a bit too fast again. So I had to constantly slow myself down back to that easy pace, which is quite encouraging, really. Just going over the week then. So Monday was four miles easy. Tuesday was an interval session, five miles in total. Uh, yesterday was, so Wednesday was a rest day, yesterday was 8 miles easy, today was 5 miles progression run. So that gives me to 22 miles for the week. The only thing I haven't done is I haven't done my strength training yet, so I might do that tonight. Um, might not go to the gym, I might just do like a home workout thing. Um, not ideal, but missing one strength training session is not going to kill me. But I have noticed a massive difference as I've probably said in other videos with my strength training my glutes and my quads I don't get as tired especially when I'm doing the long runs it used to be muscle fatigue was the biggest killer and that's really not happening anymore which is brilliant so I'm really pleased about that so it just goes to show even one strength training a w session a week can do wonders so don't ignore it do some strength training well, I haven't done any to it this week, but I'll try and squeeze it in at the weekend. I will probably do one short video at the end of the training block and post that up midweek, and then I'll do my race day video probably the following Monday. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, see you soon. Oh, and I forgot to say, uh, I did foam roll last night in the end, and it really helped this morning. <laughs> my calves feel less tight than they did so again another tip foam roll kids does wonders right okay promise i'm going this time